never thought I'd make a video like this. What's up guys? Look, I really never thought I would be participating in the COVID conversation, but I've been seeing so much false information and so many people I care about really believing some of what is being presented on the internet. And I thought it was time for me to weigh in, give my two cents, and you know, debunk some of the things being spread by a non-credible source. That being said, for anyone new to this channel, I am not a credible source. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, I am nothing of the sort. I'm a 26 year old content creator living at home. So trust me, I am not the most credible source, but everything said in this video is either done through research with credible sources or my own opinion. And I promise I will do my best to make sure you know what is credible and what is my opinion. First of all, I came across a video on the internet that is getting quite a bit of traction stating that COVID-19 is a result of 5G internet, just like allegedly the Spanish flu was a result of wireless radio. The video in question is posted by, I believe, a man named Daniel Cannon. At least that is the name of the PayPal link featured in the comments and the description. Now, here's the issue with this is I've tried to Google Daniel Cannon, I've tried searching him on Facebook, I can't find him at all, so I'm willing to bet that he is not a credible source either. Let's get right into what Daniel states in his video. Daniel claims that the Spanish flu was as a result of non-ionizing radiation from wireless radio. He claims that the Spanish flu was created by overexposure to this type of radiation and that COVID-19 is the exact same type of thing. Before I go on to dismiss everything that Daniel said in his video about how viruses are linked to technological advancements, I will state something that he missed and I won't hide behind this fact. H1N1 and 4G internet were presented roughly around the same time, both around 2009. I won't hide behind this fact because I don't believe that the two are related whatsoever. I don't believe that any of these viruses are related to technological advancements. The reason why? In 2001, 3G internet was commercially introduced. SARS was not for another two years. In 1998, wireless internet was commercially introduced. No outbreak. My source for this is the World Health Organization's website that organizes outbreaks by virus, by year, and by location. Daniel also states in his video that the symptoms of overexposure to non-ionizing radiation are the exact same as Spanish flu and COVID-19, and that is false. According to the CDC's website, overexposure to non-ionizing radiation is just tissue damage. And that is simply through direct and excessive amounts of exposure. Daniel then goes on to talk about a speech Fauci gave in 2017, claiming that Fauci's speech was subtly warning the Trump administration of a coming pandemic. That is false. Fauci even says he testified to the administrations he worked for approximately 250 times. Fauci's start was in the 80s with HIV, and he talks all the way up until Zika. He mentions that during the Reagan administration, they should have paid much closer attention to the virus as an outbreak rather than just segmenting it to one particular group of people based on their sexual orientation. Fauci goes into each administration's battle with different viruses like HIV, West Nile, Zika, etc. He even mentions the attacks via anthrax. When listening to this speech, it did not give any indication of a viral attack. This speech actually is asking for a public health emergency fund, specifically mentioning the recurrence of influenza outbreaks, different types of influenza. It is not about COVID-19. It is not about anything of the sort. It is seeking a public health fund. People claiming that the meeting held in 2019 with many individuals to run a simulation of a viral outbreak actually predicted COVID-19 is just grasping at straws. The intentions of that meeting were to build preparedness, not strategize an actual attack. For those claiming that this is some sort of power trip from the quote-unquote elite, what is the gain? Where is the gain for this fear? There is no war to fight. There is no visible enemy in this. This is simply a virus. We have seen viruses, historically speaking, many times over. Long before there were ever resources to manufacture a virus. And I still to this day do not believe that this virus was manufactured. 
Also, to give Daniel even more credibility, at the end of his video, he is seeking money in his PayPal link to help him market his video. I can assure you that that marketing will not happen, mainly because even if Daniel does intend to use the money this way, Facebook, YouTube, and other social platforms will not allow it. He's fearing that there will be suppression of his video. There will definitely be suppression of any sort of ad spreading false information, especially after the last presidential election and all of the issues companies like Facebook had, I simply do not believe anyone would be willing to participate in an ad like what Daniel is willing to present. COVID-19 is scary. Health, wealth, and resources are all in jeopardy, and it is understandable to want to point a finger. We are all in a vulnerable position, but that does not mean we need to continue to spread more fear with false information. Please do not trust everything you read or see on the internet. I will give you the best example. You have seen me in a beautiful room for this video. Well, I've been lying. I'm shooting this video in my mother's bedroom just to prove a point. You can't believe everything you see or read on the internet. To end this video on a positive note, I wanted to shout out the people that have really stepped up during this time. My mother is one of them. People like my mom have stepped up and started making masks at home for the people in need. Hospitals, nursing homes, shelters. My mom even made me one for the few trips that I go out I really appreciate the people that stepped up in this time rather than perpetuating this fear. Viruses like this are cyclical. We saw it with avian flu. We saw it with West Nile. Either there will be a vaccine or hopefully we'll eventually reach herd immunity. But trust me, I do not believe that this is any sort of attack. And you shouldn't either. This is a time none of us could have ever imagined. Please take this time and come out of it better. Use this as a learning experience. Thank you so much for watching. If you know someone who's struggling with false information, please do them a favor, send them this video. Please make sure you like, comment, and if this is the type of video that you wanna see, don't subscribe, because this isn't the type of video I will ever, ever make again. Thank you.